Hi, this is Yannick from Vasha Photography and in this video we'll share our top 9 tips for your prints to match the image on your screen. So today we're making prints for one of our most popular way of presenting our portrait photos, which is the image box made by Graphi Studio. This is made in Venice, Italy. And this box is customized uh, for us and holds 10 mats for which we make the prints in-house. So we thought that this would be a good opportunity to share our nine top tips for your prints to match the image on the screen. Number one is the color of the walls in this room where you're going to edit and print your photos. Our room, we painted in medium gray, but what's important that the color of the walls is neutral. It doesn't have to be exactly medium gray, but it should be either white, uh, medium gray, or dark gray. Uh, I would not recommend black because that would be a very depressing room, so medium gray is perfect. The reason to have the medium gray walls is that your eyes are not biased based on the room that you're sitting in. Number two is the light in the room where you edit and print the photos. We use the 5000 Kelvin, which are daylight balance light bulbs in our room. And the main reason why we want to have daylight balance uh, light bulbs in our room is when during the day, when we have light coming from the window behind me, that this light will match the light bulbs that we have in our room. And also our monitor white balance, uh, the white point uh, of our monitor is balanced at 5500K. So that basically matches the, the temperature of our light bulbs. Number three is good quality monitor. We are using the ASO monitor, which is the CG277. Uh, this is top of the line monitor that we absolutely love. And the important part about the monitor is preferably if it can reproduce the whole Adobe RGB color space. This way you have a full gamut of colors and you can really take advantage of all the colors in your photo. Number four, is properly calibrated monitor. A good monitor is useless if it's not properly calibrated. We, uh, the, our ASO monitor calibrates itself every 200 hours, which is about every two weeks. So we don't have to think about it, but the calibration of the monitor is critical. Even the best monitors need to be calibrated because the characteristics of the colors may change over time over the lifetime of the monitor. And you want to make sure that the, mo the colors on your screen are true to the actual colors in your photo. Number five, it's either professional or prosumer printer. We're using the Epson P800, which is a 17 inch white uh, printer, inject printer. We absolutely love that printer as well. It produces great quality photos. You don't have to uh, have the top of the line uh, printer, but a good photographic printer, inject printer is critical to get good results with your prints. Number six, which is I'm the most passionate about, is the good quality paper. <laughs> we use the Moab um, LaSalle Exhibition Laster 300 paper. Uh, we absolutely love this paper because it has a great detailed rendition and it's not matte, it's not super glossy, it's just perfectly in the middle. So it, those prints actually look fantastic in those mats from Graphi Studio. Number seven is the good ICC profile which makes sure that the photo printed on your paper and your printer matches the colors on your screen. This is very important. We, uh, you can make your own profiles for your, for your paper. We use the profiles that are provided by Moab and we have a very good results with those. Number eight is actually editing properly your photo. You want to make sure that all the colors in your photo do not exceed the color gamut of your, either your monitor or the printer or the paper. So you have to make sure that all the colors can be rendered properly and printed properly by your, by your printer on your specific paper. And tip number nine is a lot of patience. Printing takes patience. You will not get the best results right you know, from your first print. It just takes time. So be patient and the good prints will come.
Okay, so we all printed uh, all 10 prints in the, and they are mounted in the, in the match right now in a, in a beautiful box. Um, yeah, we printed on the Moab LaSalle Laster paper. It's a 300 um, thickness and this is the Laster finish. The um, image box and the mats are from Graphi Studio from, uh, from Italy. Um, so we are super passionate about printing. Uh, we love prints. So we hope that those nine tips uh, were useful. And if you have any questions about any of the nine tips, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you and uh, see you soon.